what's going on people it's your boy Jake Starman I'm back again with another video today um, as usual I always change things up um, today we're gonna work on improving accuracy now a lot of people from any Call of Duty they always seem to not know where to stand when it comes with accuracy one of the biggest problems for me personally and I spoke to a few other people that have a similar problem is that on advanced warfare because of the exo abilities the dashing from side to side and up and down and stuff like that a lot of people can't keep up with that with their aim so what they did even myself was adjust my sensitivity so that if someone dashed to the left or the right while I was in scope I could still follow them um, now the problem with that is uh, what I tend to find is if someone was at a further distance away it was harder for me to be able to shoot them just if they're you know walking normally or even if they dash it's just a lot harder because your sensitivity is obviously a lot higher um, so we were giving away like long-range accuracy to obviously compensate for the fact that we can't shoot someone that's so close to us um, what I did was I looked at a couple pros and uh, I spoke, I have a good friend who competes a lot. And I asked him, like, what what's your sensitivity on? Now, bearing in mind, sensitivity is about you. Like, it's not about what everyone else does. It's about what you are comfortable with. And I'm talking about close range and long range. Don't think that because someone else uses, you know, a, a default three, that that's what you should be on as well. That it doesn't work that way. Like, that's the way they feel comfortable playing because it works short range and long range for them but let I, i'm going to show you guys something that may help you on all call of duties regardless of 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 the the exo ability so basically there's a few ways you can figure out on advanced warfare what suits you now personally i went from the default actually i think i went from like the default to like a four and then straight up to an eight now the reason for this like i said was because people were using exo abilities and i had got this game late so it was kind of hard for me to adapt and i was like i can't shoot someone when they're moving from side to side but what i did was this so a lot i see a lot of pros use uh this training stage right here now this training stage right here is actually quite good what I saw them do though was even better. A few of them would pop in and out. So what they would do is they'd pop to the next one. It's very good practice. Like even if from here to here there's two enemies, you can kind of work on stuff like that. So for instance, I shoot this guy and then I pop out and I shoot this guy. And the same applies here, like boom, boom. Like, it's, it's about working on popping in and out. Because really and truly, you don't want to stand here. If someone's moving, you don't want to stand and shoot this one and move over to here. It's too slow. Like, moving out is a lot better. So I saw them training, doing a lot of this stuff during, like, their gameplay. Because a lot of people will do this. They'll stand here. Like, let, let me show you what they'll do. This is what they'll do. Now they'll stand here and they'll go. And now this, personally, to me, it's no good. Like, it's all good doing this and you're saying, yeah, I'm accurate. Yeah, I did it in 11 seconds, which is no good. But really and truly, what you should have been doing is snapping out to try and get it quicker. Because in a real, in a real situation, in an ideal situation, you're not going to stand here and go, oh, there's one guy over here, there's one guy over there, and there's one guy over there. That really does not happen. So what you have to do is use this as if it was real. So you're going to use that. You're going to shoot this one over here. You see how quick you got to do it? You've got to flick in and out. And once you get used to that, when people dash from side to side, the moment you even see them dash, you'll snap out. You'll snap back into where they're going to land. It's just practice. It's a lot of practice. And it, it does take time. It's not, it's not easy. But like it's different, you know. Depends how close the enemies are. 
but you will honestly, you'll get used to it. You'll keep working it. You'll keep doing it. It does take a long time to get used to. Like I said, I'm not perfect. You guys can see I'm not perfect, but I can nearly get there. It's very hard work. I'm telling you. But these are the things that you, you need to work on. You don't, like me personally, it's not about what sensitivity everyone else has. Like I said, mine's on four. I think it's on four at the moment. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, it's on four. Now, I actually had it on five previously. Um, and I still found it a bit too fast in general. Like I said, another thing you have to understand is if your sensitivity is high, and I even do this at, at four. So, say I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and I turn. Now, the speed of your turn determines what you can see in between that turn as well. This is something you need to think of, right? Because if I turn now, I need to be able to read what I just saw. Because if I turn and someone's here, but I turn so quick I didn't see it, the chances are I'm going to die from there. So, the reason why I personally have mine slightly lower is because if I, if I turn full speed... I can still see what's going on beside me. And even even with that, I still miss things every now and again. Like, I've watched a video before where I've turned and I've seen a guy jump. Like, I hadn't seen it while I was actually playing. But then when I watched the video back, I'd actually see a guy jump in the air. But I was too busy turning. So, this is another thing you need to think about. Like, if you've got a higher, uh, higher setting. So, for instance, if I put it back to 8. Oops. like and I and I'm playing now and like I'm I'm not too bad with eight but as, as you can see it moves a lot quicker like and that is the reason why people are like oh look he's here and then I could just move it across quicker so if he dashes from here to here I can catch him really and truly you shouldn't have you should have just tabbed out you should have just aimed down scope and then aim out of scope and come back so that that's what you should have done but anyway looking on on like the turning wise and what you would miss this is quick like think about what you can miss in the amount of time you turn then I know a lot of people say no I didn't miss anything trust me you'll miss something especially if you're if you're gonna compete that you need to make sure that you you are literally concentrating at all times so that's the reason why I'm showing you guys this um, and like I said it does it does actually work in all Call of Duty's don't think that Oh, because it's AW, this is the reason why I've changed it. Because I, I know a lot of people that even back in the day, they used to have a high sensitivity. So, what I would do is I'd use this. Practice. Practice in and out of scope. But you don't always have to do it. Don't get me wrong. You don't always have to do it. But it will help. I'm telling you guys, it will help. Like, that was crap and I got 9 seconds. So, you can, you can imagine, like... Like, don't, don't think to yourself, oh, well... Like... It's the same thing. You know what's going to happen. You know, t practice. Like, I, I see them do stuff like this. Like, like, it's just getting in and out. Like, trying to, you know, see someone. Get in and out. And I see them practicing it. And when I saw it, it, it honestly, it makes a difference to your game. I know you're probably thinking, no, no, it's not going to make a difference. But it actually does. Because... In, when you watch the pros play, in a competitive situation, if, for instance, you're clutching now, so you're alone. There's one guy here, one guy there, one guy there. You need to be able to pick them off quick. Like, there's no time to be, oh, and then move over to the next one. And I know a lot of people say, oh, well, if my sensitivity is on 8 and I pick up this guy and then I rotate to this guy, think about how much quicker. If your sensitivity is on 8, right, and, you, and you're actually used to it, if... You're used to it and you tab and you come out of scope to move back round to shoot the next guy. Then obviously you're at an advantage because you're going to do it a lot quicker than I can personally. But is your accuracy going to be as good? This is what you need to think about. And then also think about if he's at range. So for instance, if you're on a map where, you know, someone's on the opposite side. Uh, for instance, like right, you know, you've got one. If you, you were to stand on um, one of the platforms and look at the back of the map. You know, it's far away. Would you be able to pick that person off? Now, a lot of people in comp in, um, in a competitive game will tend to have a sniper as well. But if you don't have a sniper, how are you going to hit him? 
Are you going to chase him down or are you going to shoot him from a distance? Now, you got to think about it in two different ways. If, if you're accurate enough to hit him from a distance and kill him, take that shot. If you're not, then you're going to have to chase him down. Now, you're going to have to put yourself in a situation where you are vulnerable because he will be able to pick you off at closer range as well. For instance, he might not see you from far away, so you'd be able to hit him. But if you get up in his face, you know, you dash up towards him and you're up in his face. So say he's like, now you're at a range where you're like medium range. The chances are he's got a chance of killing you as well. So like I said, it's really about you. When it comes to improving your accuracy, it's about what you do. Like practice things. Like I said, practice this, you know, just hitting the trigger and just going in and out. Until you get it right, you know, it's not going to ever be perfect, like, you just keep doing it, you know, it's quicker. And I know you guys think that, obviously, the, the first few bullets will miss, like I said, mine's a burst gun, so when I, when I, when I do it, it tends to be, you know, one bullet flies over to the side somewhere. But that, that's not a problem, I see a lot of people fire from the hip first, like that, they fire from the hip first, and then they zoom in. And that's that's just being quick. For instance, oh, hold up, I'll show you. Like, if I see this guy, I can throw, throw. Like, I'm shooting first, and then I'm, I'm getting accurate. And that will work at a medium range, because when you think about it, if someone's, if we're at this range right here, and I see him before he sees me, if I fire and then hold in, I might hit him with the first few bullets. And that just means that I'm on the ball just as quick. Like, I've started shooting before I've even started aiming. Or, like I said, you practice long enough, you can just keep tabbing in and out. It's all about practice. So, you know, get used to this one. Because, personally, I think this one's good because you've got, like, an aim over here. And the next one's quite far away. You could switch it up. From here, you could go... And then switch it back over here and then go back to these ones. Like, just keep practicing different things. The thing with these ones that annoys me the most is these moving ones. On here, like, you can practice. You can still practice. It makes no difference. I saw them do these ones as well. But understand that when I'm talking about it, I'm talking about the XR abilities and the, the fact that they're further away. So, like, that... And that is too far away. But you know, you gotta practice. Even practice just practice as much as you can, and I promise you your accuracy will go up. Like this this is all like from here to here is actually a good distance. So even this one here is not too bad. Like when you tab in and out of them. So just get used to it. It's all practice. It's everything you're gonna need even from this call of duty to the next one because even if there's not x abilities which we know there's not in black ops 3 someone might tab from here to here and really and truly if you see someone here you're gonna want the next guy over here and doing it this way is a lot slower you can see for yourself you know that's my aim normally but when i think about it if someone's at a further distance it's a lot smoother it's a lot more accurate. I don't have a scuff, so don't think that, you know, that's going to change anything. It's really not. But you can see how slow I turn in the air. And I see a lot of people do it a lot quicker. So, just work on that. Work looking down scope and looking back out. If, if for instance, you're finding that you're missing people a lot more. Because I watched a, a good friend of mine... And I was like, have you changed your sensitivity? Because I can see that from like a medium range or a longer range, you can't actually hit people with the accuracy that you can when you're at closer range. And uh, he actually changed it and his accuracy is improved like so much more. Like you don't have to, you know, decrease it to the amount that is going to be like, oh my God, it's so slow now. You don't have to do that. You just got to find one that's comfortable for you. Like I said, I know a lot of people that still play on free, and I personally play on four because I like it just a bit faster because I'm still used to being able to shoot people at a longer distance. So if you're used to an eight, then use eight. But personally, I find that a lot of people, like like I said, even myself, I changed that because I couldn't keep up with the exo abilities. So 
you know, bear that stuff in mind. Um, anyway, I hope this helped you guys. I really do because, you know, it's all about improving. You know, I see a lot of competition um, where it comes down to stuff like gaming in general. And I tend to, a lot of the games, like, I'm not boasting, but a lot of the games in public, I just tend to walk over people. Whereas, like I said, I do have people that play at a higher level. When I play with them, the competition is a lot higher. And if you guys are think, if, if any of you guys are even thinking about, oh, I want to compete, this, these are things that you've got to really think about. Like, honestly, you can't just think, well, some people are good enough to just jump in, but you've got to think about a lot of other things as well. Um, hopefully I can bring you guys more stuff on practicing, whether it be um, learning callouts, like if you guys wanted a callout video, for instance, what places are called on each map, um, leave feedback, um, and let me know what you guys think as well with the um, aiming and stuff like that, if there's something that you feel that I've missed that could help someone else, add that to it. Like. Personally, another thing that I'd like to say is that a, the gun doesn't make a difference to your sensitivity. Understand that a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, but the recoil is a lot higher. What you need to think about is, you know, work on how you, you shoot and you bring that aim down as it increases. Like, for instance, if I just hold, you see how it raises up slightly? You need to work on things like okay so I've got this gun I know that it it the recoil goes up at a certain distance how am I gonna pull that down so I keep it a normal distance you understand what I'm saying so these are other things that you gotta think about um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, also like I said if you guys want a, a, a call out video for each map then uh, we can do that as well I know it's getting a bit late on in advanced warfare and in November obviously you got black ops coming out but if you guys, you know, it's never too late. And it's a good thing to learn. If you know call-outs when you're playing in ranked, it's, it'll always help. So anyway, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and follow. There will be more videos coming soon. I hope this was helpful because I do see a lot of people, even YouTubers nowadays, um, making videos. And I think to myself, sometimes you, you could have got that kill if you would have just, you know, aimed in and out. And, um... Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and follow. There'll be more videos coming soon. Make sure you guys hit that like and definitely subscribe to the channel. Take care, people. Peace out. This guy's actually going to come back. Right now. No! No! I'm getting scared! Yeah, that's right. Right now. Oh, my God. That's what happens when you try and uh, get a bit too cocky.